Malian intelligence officers investigating. The barrels in the courtyard, they say, were intended to blow up the bridge over the river Niger, leading into Gao. This was a jihadi bomb factory. Interrupted by French airstrikes, they left traces of their trade. Potassium nitrate to mix with charcoal for explosives. Bullets, but also baguettes and empty sashes of mayonnaise. The neighbors were never quite sure what was going on in here. Once it is Arab, I think they were Arabs. We couldn't identify them because they were turban and wore scarves coiled around their faces. They didn't speak to anyone. And we were afraid, so we didn't ask them anything. Okay, so yeah. these are like payments which they're giving to people working yeah, for them? Yeah. It, the Malian officers see. found records Pay. of payments, possibly Pay. to jihadi fighters. Fadi. Mm. Fadi. Pray to Fadi. Mariam Aja. Fadi. Hawa. And a money transfer Arabia. from someone in Saudi Arabia. Here. You can see it. Mm -hmm. Sign it. Mm -hmm. We hear about it, but this is the proof. Mm -hmm. They talk about Qatar, they talk about uh, Saudi Arabia and everything. This is the proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will keep that evidence for my people. Mali! 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 We approached Gao at dusk on Saturday. Villagers on the outskirts showed their delight as a column of Malian military vehicles drove through. Yesterday morning, on wasteland a few miles south of town, we saw four dead teenagers, jihadi recruits, hit by a French missile fired from a helicopter as they fled Gao. In the early afternoon, we crossed the bridge the jihadis had failed to blow up. A body lay twisted on the railing, a random, nameless victim. And suddenly, Riding on the back of a Malian military pickup, we were amongst the people of Gao. Euphorically praising France and freedom. They were part of their country, Mali again, no longer forced to live in a separate, strict Islamist pseudo-state. What an extraordinary moment in Gao. Look at these people, just thrilled because they can dance, they can sing, the women can ride motorbikes, they can smoke, all the things they haven't been able to do for the last nine months while the jihadis have been in power. The mayor of Gao, who returned yesterday from exile in the capital Bamako, addressed the crowd. No one could hear a word he said. But it didn't matter. He was back, a symbol of the Malian state. People are looking forward to the first consignment of beer, hopefully soon. Today the streets were calm. Time to learn from some of the women we met what really happened in Gao. They took me into their home. The jihadis refused to let this half-blind woman or any others wear glasses because, the women said, they didn't want us to see the world. They showed me how they were forced to wear hijab. And how they've thrown it off. <laughs> Lindsay Hilson, Channel 4 News, Gao.